Hello everyone. So today we are doing a very exciting video. Okay, so I had this idea to do Grandma Energy sweatshirts and I've been talking to so many different brands to try and produce this merch and nobody was like believing in the vision. Basically not believing there was a market for it, which fair enough, but I also just don't really care. I want to create it because I think it's a good idea and I like the idea. So we're going to do it ourselves because if brands and people don't believe in you, do it yourself and prove them wrong or do it yourself and they end up right. There is no market for it, but at least you were true to yourself and you tried. So I bought a bunch of these really comfy Gildan blank sweatshirts. So we're going to hand dye every single one. And then I'm getting Grandma Energy with a little strawberry embroidered on the front. A small business will do like all 200 of them. And there's only gonna be 200 pieces in this launch from many different sizes. I basically bought a few of every size that was available. I think it's extra, extra small to 4XL. I'm really sorry if your size isn't in there. I just picked the ones that were available in this blank. For future reference, if there's a size that you guys want me to make, definitely comment it down below and I will find a specific blank that has that size. That is if you guys even want me to continue making stuff. Hello, I'm actually currently working on making custom sweatpants sets. So they're not blanks, they're like fully custom, like designed and made. So make sure to tell me if you have any things that you want down below. I know in the past I've made some merch and you guys have been so nice about it, but I know one big thing I've heard from you guys is like make them more neutral. <laughs> It's in my nature to like go crazy pink rainbow. So with this one, I tried to go a little bit more neutral. I tested out the hand dyeing method that I wanted to try. It's like a swirl tie dye. And it's this navy blue purple, kind of very, very light faded sort of pastel look. Cause I wanted to test it out before having everyone come and dye the rest of them, like 197 other ones. And I think it looks so good. It's exactly what I wanted. And then to have the embroidery on the front, I personally think it's going to be very cute and it's going to be a very limited qu quantity. Like I said, there's only going to be 200. Here is the first one that I did. And then here is the second one. Now you'll notice the swirl is a lot different and every single piece is going to be completely unique. Like it'll be the same colors, but the swirl will look different on every single one, which I personally think is so fun and exciting. Like, of course, it'll generally look like this, but the swirl could be, you know, right in the center or maybe off to the side a little bit. Maybe it'll have more color like this one. See, like this is just the beauty of tie dye. I love tie dye so very much. See, one, the center is like way more and the other one is not, but all of them will also have the grandma energy on the front. So yeah, everybody's coming over today to help me assembly line dyeing 200 of these. And I'm really excited. Working away. Good job, you guys. Hey, you guys. You guys have the worst job. What else is new? <laughs> you guys have the worst job. <laughs> Rinsing them. You guys are the muscle. Dad, are you gonna look up at all? And they're about to be dyed. Almost dyed. <laughs> Almost done too. So we kept on tie dyeing. By the end of the night, our hands hurt so bad and we were all feeling just a little bit chaotic, but all in all, I would say it was a success. All right, it's been three and a half hours and we are 75% done. Dying in more ways than one. <laughs> we are on the last shirt. Woo! Oh Your my. hands. Yeah! <laughs> 200 tie dyed shirts. Woo! Good job, team. Okay, it is the next day after. Where's that accent? 
Anyways, it's the next day after the tie-dye extravaganza. All the tie-dye has been sitting overnight, so now we're just running it on a cold cycle. No drying cycle, we're gonna air dry it just because I don't want to affect the sizing. But yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. We're very much still living up to the fact you guys always say the garage looks like a crime scene. <laughs> Today is no different. <laughs> but look at look at these are the ones that have already been washed and dried. The color turned out really nice. Looks really good. Alright. After the very spooky ooky day yesterday, everything is dried. Also, yeah, this is my makeup right now. We're not gonna talk about it. Alright, so Here's an example of one dry. So now we're just basically taking them and then the sizing, we're just organizing them into piles. I don't know if this video is gonna make people not wanna buy it or make them wanna buy it because of how rough it's looked. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> yeah. It looks really good. So we organized all the sweaters by size and then we took them to a small business to get them all embroidered. And that all happened like six months ago and they are now officially live on theamicbookmarket.com. I'm so excited about it. I swear the tie-dyeing process feels like it happened so long ago and now they're finally launched. I'm so excited. So if you're interested, make sure to check them out. And thank you so much for watching our tie-dyeing process. I hope it was somewhat fun and interesting for you.